Why do you keep doing this to me, game? Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. We are just getting underway for our our grand trek, which we were preparing for at the end of the last episode, and we've kind of skipped ahead to that point. We're leaving behind a lot of patch lever and stuff. Oh, and even a little bit of beer, as it turns out. Just one beer for whoever wanders through this frozen hellhole next. Anyway, but yeah, we also have a prison rescue and a uh, abandoned camp quest, which are actually both kind of in the same general direction, and we can, like, buy some more food here. So our goal is from here to here, then to here, then here, and back down to here. So it should overall take about 5.9 days, approximately. It's probably going to take a little bit longer because we're in... Undoubtedly going to end up taking a little bit of damage along the way, but I'm relatively confident we should be okay. Though I do kind of wonder why we don't just backtrack. Does it really calculate this as being faster than going here and like being on the main highway? I guess. So how, how far between here and here? 0.7 days. And if we remove this... Well, yeah, 0.7 days actually does get us more squares this way, so maybe that does make some sense. Also, yeah, having these smaller animals... Wait, I haven't given you a name yet? Apparently not. Alright, well, you need a name. Uh, you can be Sam. There you go. And we'll get some more names, by the by. Alright, so we are... We're probably not going to get... Why in God's name did we pop off on this edge right here? Like, why? Why would you do such a thing? When you could have spawned on the road. Well, then again, I guess logically you couldn't because of this, but then again, abstractions. And yeah, I guess I should abandon this. I mean, by the time we are finished, we probably could have backtracked here and then picked some stuff up, but... You know. Gotta balance these things. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, so it's only gonna take 0.4 days and then like a little less time to get here and then... So by tomorrow, by the 12th of September, we should be here. I mean, the prisoner is... How old is this prisoner? He's a 41-year-old shipwright. A legal shipwright, so he makes ships illegally. Though from a narrative point, that actually makes a certain amount of sense when I think about it, because we could say we need a shipwright, because obviously this ancient ship's going to need repairs, so... Yeah. And also, just in general, I want to try to be good. I want to be a good person, man. The best person. At least the best person we could possibly be, anyway. Oh, there's a relationship here. Aunt of Nelly, Aunt of Rascal. Wait, Nelly and Rascal are related? That's a new one? Or is it a new one? Did I already know that? Oh, yeah, Rascal, yeah, they're, they're sisters there. And Mayor Cheek? Okay. What's Nelly's last name? Pullman. Oh, yeah, so I guess she was married or something at some point. Anyway. Alright, so Hercules' caravan made it, so I guess we can, uh, click that off, because we know about its existence now. And, let's see, how do I want to do this? It looks like this would be a perfect funnel to funnel in the enemies, so... If we can sneak over there, then we should be okay, relatively speaking. We'll lock the animals up in this corner, and yeah, we'll uh, go up here and then over here as far as we can, and then we'll uh, sneak our way down here, and hopefully that should work out. I'm reasonably confident that's going to work out. Reasonably. And they have no turrets or anything, so we're prob probably fine. Why is our caravan suddenly immobile? What the heck's going on here? Oh god, where did... Oh, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, that's not terrible. Okay. 
My god, animals, you scared the bejeebus out of me. Oh, and actually half of our people apparently wandered off as well, so. All right, well, whatever. Whatever, dog. All right, they're limited over there. Our people are all going over here. Yay. Uh, are you trying to shoot us? You are not. Okay. All right, so we want our people to get in here as best we can. Uh, we'll have a few people hang out at the lower ends as well. Eris or yeah, Arison and uh, Rick, seeing as they have sniper rifles, will focus on uh, forward. You know, like luring them into the trap in the first place. We'll have some people hang out down here. Because, you know, that's just good business. Oh, Philly. Philly isn't, uh... I guess Philly can go there. All right. We'll do what makes sense. And yeah, these two will, uh, go over here and then we'll have them, like, deck out over here. Actually, maybe I should have Sir and Hercules and Pliskin kind of, like, lurk over here a little bit. And if I can get you both to focus on uh, Skizzer over here, because he's got a he's got a Molotov, and that does concern me just a little bit. So if we if we could be if he would be so kind as to die, okay. Well, he was in fact so kind as to die. And you've got a shotgun, so you're probably the next person we want to take out. And somehow no one has noticed this. That's that's just brilliant right there. Anyway, uh, oh, okay, you don't see anybody anymore. All right, well, Yuka then. There we go, now they're attacking. All right, you guys can, like, duck over here or something. And yeah, when they come in over here, it should be... Actually, you know what, I'm gonna- Whoa, no, no, Sam, you go here. Uh, Rick and Arisen, I'm gonna have Lurk over here. In this corner. Is that an assault rifle? That is not actually an assault rifle. Okay. Uh, dude, you could, like, totally- Can you guys, like, all focus on this dude who's, like, right here? Oh, wow, we actually knocked him down. Good. Yeah, attack Clob here. The worst weapon in Goldeneye. Oh, and actually, so far, no one's taken any damage, so... Okay, now some people have taken some damage. That's... That's a bit concerning, actually. But only Laura. Only Laura has taken any damage. Where is Laura? Laura's right here. And who are you, Noah? Are you good at anything? You're a psychopath who's psychically dull. You can't do caring or social. You're not terrible at shooting. I mean... And you didn't actually lose any critical body parts, so I am not opposed to rescuing you, actually. Let's, uh, forcibly lure them in. There we go. And these idiots are just gonna sit there doing idiot things. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. We'll, uh, maybe come out over here a little. This guy's gonna die and they're gonna start running. Okay, good. They're actually, they're running now. Exactly what we wanted. We have completed the quest. Oh, oh, where's the loot? Okay, the loot is dropping over here. We have an assault rifle, which actually gives us more range, so we'll find someone who is in need of ranging more. These guys actually don't have any really good weapons. And Anna had a smoke pop out. Facilitating her escape. But it didn't really work for her, so good job for you. We'll, uh, yeah, unforbid everything. And, let's see, who's someone... Yeah, this SMG here is... of It's got lesser range than some of our other weapons, so if we can swap that out, and of course we want to pick up the Charge Lance. I don't know if I want to give the Charge Lance... Actually, I should probably give it to one of the people who has a sniper rifle. So let, let, let's uh, let Arison try it. I don't think this is, like, one of those one one-shot, one-use type weapons, I think. I hope not, anyway. That would be kind of less good. And... 
Dora should be fine, right? Yeah, she only had a bruise. So nothing too serious. And you guys who aren't actually doing anything right now can do some stuff. And, uh, yeah. And yeah, we should be able to... I mean, he's got five hours. We're gonna have done everything we came here to do long before that happens. Wow, they had, they had no supplies at all. Alright, so... Okay. Pretty sure if we reform the caravan, we can take Noah with us, right? Yes, we can. So we can capture him. We'll patch him up on the road. Which is always useful. Grab some extra materials. Medicines. Extra ambrosia, because why not? And extra guns, because we can sell those. Alright, and I'm gonna cut ahead now, and I will see you when we get to our travel destination. Alright, so Amy, our dog, is pregnant. And we have arrived. We can get some trading done. Uh, I don't really want to buy any more animals. I mean, yeah, those aren't bad, but I don't think cows in vanilla count as uh, things we can actually do anything with as far as... Uh, do I want to buy more chocolate? The answer is maybe. Uh, they don't really have any food we can buy, unfortunately. That actually really sucks. We could buy potatoes, though. Then again, that's a lot of money to pay for pina for potatoes, and it doesn't really add much more food. I think I'll buy some nutrient paste, though. Wait, that actually lowers the amount of food we're getting? What the hell? It's so terrible, it actually lowers the amount of food we have. Alright, well... If you say so, Hoss. Um... Oh, I don't know when, like, how often... Their, uh, their stuff's gonna get refreshed. I wouldn't mind buying Nutramine, because then we could buy some drugs, or make some drugs, like medicines and stuff. Would not be bad. I'll sell our... I think I'll get rid of the Ambrosia. And other... Other things that we're probably not gonna need. Like, I don't think we're gonna need Uranium or Jade. Uh, these things are useful. Neuro Trainer. We could buy that, but I don't really want to. I'll hold on to the Plasteel for now, just in case. And... Oh, I could buy an Architect Leg. Hmm. That is tempting. Because we could always use more legs. And more beer. And we do have a lot of money, so... I mean, like, we have just a lot of liquid cash lying around, so turning some of that into an actual usable leg wouldn't be a terrible idea. I do want to hold on to the incendiary launcher, just in case. And, uh... I'll hold on to that heavy SMG there. Actually, we've got two incendiary launchers, so I'll sell the lesser one. And... Sell some of that. Sell this sniper rifle, or do I want to give that? I mean... Nah, this thing shoots faster, so I have to assume that would level up our character a little faster. As well, keep the EMP grenades, of course. And we'll get rid of the lower quality... ...stuff we have. And I think I'll cut away again at this point, and I'll cut back in when we're about to attack, so see you shortly. Okay, well, we're back on the road. Looks like we have a peace talk quest here with uh, Randheim. So that's good, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, and everyone, everyone pretty much likes us. Even this savage tribe. How did I make them go from... If they're called a savage tribe, I have to assume that means that they were... Enemies to us at some point. So I don't know what I did to make them like us. Or peace talks, that must have been in it. Right. Which is good, because now at least we don't have to deal with those filthy tribals. But uh, then again, I guess it also means it's more likely. Alright, so this looks like a, a good spot for us. Uh, we've also got our animals over here in this corner. Alright, so if we get the animals to like stay right down here... That's good. Then as for us, if we lure them in entirely the opposite direction, and then, like, go over here. 
Oh, you know what else? A thought just occurs to me. We've got Noah wandering around somewhere, don't we, as well. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Who is our least good shooter? That would be Jumper. Because Jumper got as a gun. Uh, doodly, 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 doodly. Where is Jumper? There you are, Jumper. Hello. All right, I'd like you to, uh... Oh. Oh, I can't even take him off the map. Of course, I should have split the caravan. Because Noah's going to wander over... Oh, and the idiot, he's wandering right over there now. Okay, this is, uh... This is concerning. Okay. If I get the animals to wander over here, though... All right, stay as far away from Noah as possible, because he's just going to bring you to ruin. All right. In fact, I might even want to try luring the animals, like, up into this corner, maybe. Could, could be a thing. All right, let's uh, clear that out of here and get... We'll have them hide all in this corner. Noah is over there. I mean, this, this should work. The only issue, of course, is the uh, whole prisoner thing. All right, so Arisen and Rick, you guys hide over there while we get everyone into, uh, you know, something resembling a, a proper uh, formation here. What? Are you high as a kite, Arisen? What are you doing? Like, man. Don't do stupid stuff like that. All right, so yeah, this is in a position where no one should be able to hit anyone. Hopefully. You go there, you go there. We'll try to get a few shots. Did you actually hit her? Not. No one hit anything, but they are, uh... All right, I mean, if we can get them to come after these... Oh, God, are they, uh... All right, fall back, fall back. A little more. Oh no, they're coming after, they're going after our animals. Why do you keep doing this to me, game? All right, you guys, uh, over here. Not the animals. Damnation. Okay. I mean, yeah, we've got a... You're attacking Falafel! How dare you! If I just un... Let's just punch them, okay? Like, that's... It's the best I've got. You're done, son! And they're running away, okay. Yeah. Go screw yourselves, boyos. All right. See? Beautiful. Only Paulson is getting away. Paul Paulson. A misandrous aesthetic with an annoying voice. But, uh... Yeah. Ew, gross. Human meat. That's gross, dog. I mean, we don't want anything like that. All right, so let's uh, let's go see what are in these buildings here. And oh yeah, there was someone who was. Oh, I thought this guy might have been wandering around, but no, no, he was. Uh... No one survived this. Basically, is uh, the takeaway. Oh, I guess we should probably uh, yeah, go actually rescue the. Oh, good food. I'll take everything with us, even if it's not terribly great. And you drop some of your stuff for some reason, probably because you were a little bit injured. So, uh... LJ, are you, um... Are you joining us? 
Oh, a free prisoner. There we go. Refugee joins. And he is now completely naked. Why are you completely naked? Oh, because you have terrible, terrible clothes. Okay, do I have uh, anyone carrying some good clothes that I can get you to wear? Preferably someone close by, because I can't have you walking around naked with the rest of the colony like this. Is just not appropriate. Okay, no one is carrying clothes, but then again, I did sell a lot of our clothes when we were stopped, so yeah, we might have to. We might have to look through all of this. And that's just kind of tedious. Well, we've got a, a duster and a cowboy hat. And, uh,. Let's see, but shirts and pants, that's what we want to focus on right now, because we should be able to get far enough south that uh, the cold is no longer a concern. We at least, can I at least find some pants, for goodness sake? There's got to be pants in here somewhere. Unrestrict the animals, get them to spread out a little bit. You know what, I'm going to take care of this and I'll cut back away when we're... Actually, it's probably time to wrap this episode up, so... I will clean things up and I will catch all you in the next episode. But until then, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And like I just said a second ago, I will see you all in the next video.